Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 45-year-old male, and he has had a shoulder pain for years. He does work out, it's in good shape, does bench press, and his uh, shoulder has been hurting for quite some time. Finally came in to get an MRI. The doctor thought he may have a labral tear, and sure enough, he does have a tear of his posterior labrum here. So in the very back, he has a tear right here involving the posterior labrum, and also, he has some posterior subluxation of the humeral head. The epicenter of the humerus is about right here. The epicenter of the glenoid is way over here. So his head of the humerus is subluxed posteriorly. And that is really through relaxity of the uh, joint capsule. Also, we can see that the glenoid, the angle of the articular surface, should be about 90 degrees to the long axis of the uh, scapula here. So here's the scapula and we follow that across to the midpoint of the glenoid, draw a line through the glenoid, and this should be roughly 90 degrees plus or minus 7 degrees, but his is about 15 degrees retroverted, so we call this glenoid retroversion. And you can see the steeper it's sloped backwards, the more the humeral head can sublux posteriorly, so when they have a retroverted glenoid like this and do bench pressing, the humeral head can slide backwards like this, and cause subluxation. They can get tears in the posterior labrum just like this. And so kind of classic findings. We did do an arthrogram. There's some fluid in the shoulder joint here. And also he had some arthritis of the AC joint. Here's the AC joint. So this is certainly not helping out any, anything. And this can also be related to uh, weightlifting too. When you get chronic repetitive motion at the AC joint, you can get um, arthritis like this. He has some other findings. This is a A-bear view, but he was unable to do a good positioning, but the tear is back over here. We can see this fluid beneath the labrum, tiny little fluid collection here. This may be a paralabral cyst or just fluid leaking through, and um, that's it. So a retroverted um, glenoid, glenoid retroversion with posterior subluxation of the humeral head and a tear of the posterior labrum. Thank you very much.